Hi, let's see how to set up the BIOS when using the Mac3 software. We have a computer that we have already entered the BIOS by hitting the F1 key. On your computer, it could be a different key. It could be delete, for example. Usually, as the computer is booting, you will see a screen that will show you what key to hit to enter the BIOS. What we want is to go to the peripheral configuration. In this case, it is under the Advanced tab. Inside the configuration, the peripheral configuration, we select the power port. We want to make sure that it is enabled. Then we go to the mode. We need to set the mode to EPP. The other thing that is also important is to disable any power saving. In this case, it is under the power tab and under the advanced power management. We want to make sure that it is disabled. When we are done, we save those changes and exit the BIOS. When the computer will reboot, it will enter Windows and the parallel port will be set correctly to work with Mac 3. The result of that is a clean signal on the pulse output. In this case, we have pin 1 of the parallel port that is connected to the pulse input of the x-axis stepper motor and it is set at 5 microsecond pulse which is the maximum you can set Mac 3 to. And we can see a very clear signal. For your CAD CAM software, please visit us at routecad.com slash software. We have an extended list of excellent software. We have CAD software for mechanical, electrical, floor plan design, we have CAD CAM software for meal, CAD CAM software for late, and CNC controller software. All our software have a tutorial video that makes it very easy to learn. They are all verified publisher software included in the Norton list of safe software. Also, they are compatible with Windows XP, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, Windows 10, and the new Pro Windows. Our software are compatible with Mac 3, Mac 4, Linux CNC, and several other controller software.